A frantic 911 call is shedding light today on a police mistake that turned a lunch date into a showdown with officers. 10 News broke the story last Thursday after a judge ruled that two San Diego police officers made an illegal stop that included a man being tasered and pepper sprayed. And Team 10 investigator Michael Chin reveals the moment the incident turned ugly. They were hoping to grab a bite to eat, but they would never get that meal. And a 911 recording shows how it spiraled out of control and became a nightmare. A couple people in a vehicle refusing to get out. From a police helicopter, you can see a huge police presence descending on a City Heights restaurant in March 2010. Minutes earlier, a 911 call had been placed from inside this park Pontiac by Shannon Robinson, sitting with her fiance, Dante Harrell, and a friend. Hi, what's going on there? Um, I have a couple of your police officers. They stopped me. Harold says she called 911 to ask for a supervisor after he was questioned by officers, followed by 15 minutes of waiting. A judge has just ruled the officers made an illegal stop. They stopped me by mistake, pushing a button, and my license plate came back as a Honda. Harold says the officers admitted to typing in a wrong letter during a routine license plate check, but wanted to check them out anyways. Harold says after the 911 call was made, the officers tried to grab the phone. Okay. Harold told us what isn't heard in the 911 call is what one officer said next. They're on the phone with our supervisor. Isn't that childish? I'm about to OC them. OC is another term for pepper spray. About the same time, the 911 operator is heard saying a supervisor is on the way and attempts to end the call. You need to disconnect. Harold says the two were pepper sprayed before he was tasered repeatedly. Both he and Robinson taken to the ground. The phone in the back seat was still on, recording the chaos. <laughs> Julia Yu is the couple's attorney. These 911 tapes reveal just a desperate plea on the part of a citizen who was being wronged. Pleas that will be front and center in a September trial when a jury decides whether excessive force was used. Michael Chen, 10 News. And the judge also ruled police made an illegal arrest of Robinson. The two officers, Ariel Savage and Daniel McLean, remain on the force for now. Police declined to talk about any discipline they faced, citing personnel matters.